guys, welcome back to Talita Teacher Says. Welcome back to Talita Teacher Says. If you're new here, I'm Talita Somila Matengwane, and today we have a guest, my friend Angezwa. Hi guys. Yeah, Angezwa is also a teacher here in China. She's been here for how many years now? Four. She's been here for four years, guys. So today we are going to be talking about um, the most important aspects to consider before signing a contract. <laughs> You're on camera, say something. So today we are doing something that is very exciting. It was my friend's idea. Mm -hmm. I got you. <laughs> um, we got seafood, a mukbang. We got a seafood boil yeah. from a new restaurant close by. So we're going to be eating and chatting all at the same time. Ooh. Welcome friends, thank you for doing this with me. Thank you for having me, my baby. <laughs> Okay, so guys, this is going to be very exciting. Sit back and enjoy it. Also, guys, if we are just about to forget, for take a pen and a paper, write these things down because they are very important. You yes. don't want to find yourself in a situation where you sign a contract that you're not happy with. Mm. You know, for the contract for a whole year, or a two-year contract, yeah. without considering the most important things. Yeah. So let's begin with the word of the day. Okay. So today's word of the day is persistence. Um, being persistent, guys, means you don't back down. Yeah. You push. Windy, rainy, sunny. You are there. Yes, <laughs> I agree. And if you have to crawl, crawl. If you have to walk, walk. If you have to run, run. But don't stop. Exactly. Mm. Forward we go, backwards never. Yes. <laughs> so this is where we are going to begin, friend. We will define what a contract is. Mm. Um, CIA is like, no, everybody knows what a contract is, but yeah. we just want to lay a foundation. Yeah. Okay? So a contract is basically... Um, a legal binding between two parties mm. party a being is mm. or the employer party b being the employee yeah that is you yes so friend what is the first thing do you think we need to consider okay so um the first thing that you need to consider when signing a contract before you sign a contract mm -hmm. are the benefits and the salary mm -hmm. very important true point. true true you also need to um be wary of the fact that they will tell you it's a salary before tax mm -hmm. which is i was as well you like you don't know how much you're getting paid because you don't know how much your tax is going to be or the yeah. percentage or whatever the case so you always have to make sure that you ask how much is my salary after tax, tax. and make sure that it's in the contract yeah it says so 19k after tax yeah so it doesn't yeah. change guys mm -hmm. because kind of now has a fluctuation yeah then like it so um that's point number one point number two being the benefits yes. that you stated mm -hmm. the benefits being um so the benefits would be your housing allowance mm -hmm. housing allowance is very important yeah very important because um, apartments are very expensive, guys. Rent, renting is mm -hmm. like expensive because you also want to live at a place where also by happy corner. When you go home, come back. Yes, serene. Yeah, especially in bigger um, cities. cities. Exactly, yeah. cities like Shanghai. My friends um, lives in Shanghai. Now I live in a small town that's um, close to Shanghai. Apartments they are not very expensive, but. My school pays for my apartment. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And it also gives you a peace of mind, like mm. knowing that you don't have to take out 
um, your um, your rent money out of your own pocket. Yeah, and another important thing, friend, that um, that I just thought about is that sometimes the school will give you housing allowance, or they will offer you a dorm, or they will pay for your apartment. Yeah. So you need to see what works be for clear. you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes. You may not be clear about Ufuna Joni and then the school will provide because this school show me they do listen to, to us before sending a contract yeah, yeah. yeah they will if they give you a contract go through your contract tell them I don't like A I don't like B yeah. if they like you they will change Zindo mm, because I they will agree. do anything to get you in a school yeah. some schools will do anything to keep you but most importantly Benza anything but in yeah you know yeah um point number two point number two is the Flight reimbursement. Yes, flight reimbursement, child. Bas <laughs> Alela. Yes, show me. Flying Ooh. in, flying out. Mm -hmm. So now there's an issue, friend. So we are not um, going home. We're not allowed to go home, right? There's restrictions due to the coronavirus. Yeah. So some schools don't want to pay people a flight reimbursement. A flight reimbursement, yeah, mm. because they feel like they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Or they're like, no, you're traveling within China, so we won't pay you, whatever. Or you didn't go anywhere. So what I did with my with my new school is that I asked them to give me a flight reimbursement, yeah, without with or without a receipts. Mm. Mm. You know, because some people don't even like Maybe traveling. True. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, I even forgot. <laughs> Mm. Some people don't like to travel within China, so they rather stay home and not do anything. Yeah. But how do you get that money? Because it's your benefit. It's saying the contract that you're supposed to get. It's your money. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you tell them with or without the receipt. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's in your contract. Mm. Because I'm telling you, with e, especially like Chinese people, if it's not on paper, then it does not exist mm. so you need to make sure that it's on paper true so even if like currently we have the situation with like the borders being closed and all of that mm -hmm. but make sure it's still there because that money is yours mm -hmm. whether you go home home or not mm. it's still yours mm. so you need to make sure it's a contract in chum yes no me with you. <laughs> okay. So you let us see a insurance hospital mm. hospital plan. What's it called? Life insurance life card? Life insurance um or medical insurance. That's what they call it. I'm distracted by the food you guys. Mm. It's so delicious. Mm. 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 Okay, so a life insurance. Okay, you must see in terms of medical aid. Yeah. Medical aid, a scholarship has to offer you a medical aid. Mm. But you have to ask Obana, which hospitals does um the medical aid yes. in the South Korea? Because our food will be up with hospital A, Ratatata. Yeah. Because some places, some hospitals are there called like there's nobody, absolutely no one that can speak English. Mm -hmm. And when I don't want to be in pain and I have to translate me so near, you know. So go to like Get a medical aid that will allow you to go to certain hospitals, like prestigious hospitals. Yeah. Where they speak English, you know. Yeah. Where also foreign friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, with medical aid that will allow you to check when you have your fees or you have your bills. Can you see specialists? Kind of look that uh, kind of vibe. Mm. And you also need to find out from the school mm -hmm. what type of medical insurance do you have mm. do they offer the one way you pay beforehand and then they reimburse you mm -hmm. or do they offer the one where you pay for the consultation fee mm -hmm. but they cover the, the rest, rest yeah they cover the mm. rest or do they cover everything that's very important because you don't want to get as the best and you told me and you and don't you know what's going everything. on mm. imagine that like, you don't have money you won't always have money to go to hospital imagine having to pay ten thousand rmbs or mm. five thousand rmbs mm. on the spot mm. so now you have to call people and tell people first of all you're sick you're in hospital and oh, you need dear. money to pay for your um, medical bill to me yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, my own I think it's stressful yeah. very stressful mm. it's a stressful situation exactly also ask them what would you do with my body if I die? Very important. Hmm? Tell me, I never 
until like we had the conversation this morning, mm -hmm. I don't think of that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lie. I don't think of that. Because John was so I will go find me. Go find me. We need to send Angus's mm -hmm. body home. We can't even deal with the trauma and the stress of um, your passing. We have to worry about getting you home. The stress that comes with it, friend. Your body, oh God, I would be stressed. Your, Yo. your corpse. And also, <laughs> your mom. <laughs> and also, Chomi, sing about the Bamiyama, especially Tina. We don't want to talk about death. Yes. But this is so important. Mm. What are they going to do with your body? I'm not trying to get mm. death. Let me see if we look at orientation. Let's go in. If you. If you go to heaven, because they want to mention the word dead. I don't know. Yeah. We need to consider um, leave days. Yes. Holidays. Yes. Paid, unpaid leave. Mm -hmm. That kind of vibe. So in summer, we have two, we usually have two months lunch. I go two months break. <laughs> She's thinking about the food we eating. Break. So ask your school. Are they paying you for I'm the not. two months? Are they paying you or not? Some schools will pay you for one month. Mm -hmm. Some will not pay you at all. At all. Some will expect you to work throughout summer. Yeah. Ugh. Summer camp. So and at my school for instance, mm -hmm. they had said that initially it was um two months summer holiday and it was paid mm. right mm. fully paid no half or whatever mm. but then because COVID happened they changed that mm. so now it's only one month and then we have one month summer camp but we get paid for summer camp on top of your salary, salary. Mm. so you need to find out about that because summer camp is intense guys yeah. imagine waking up on your holiday, you're supposed to be on holiday, mm, and it's hot. Mm -hmm. It's hot, cock hot. Mm -hmm. Shame, it gets really humid up here. Yeah. Also, leave days. How many leave days do you have per year or per semester? Mm -hmm. How many paid leave days do you have? Sick leave, personal leave, annual leave, mm -hmm. annual leave. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, um, what you also need to consider is your winter holiday. Are you getting paid for winter? Do you get paid? Yes. For yeah, I also get paid for winter. Mm -hmm. Um, and all your Chinese national holidays. Exactly. Also, are they will they give you Christmas off, New Year's off? Because guys, yo, it's very painful to go to work on Christmas Day. Yes. When our other kids will be turning up, make my name Christmas lunch, Christmas brunch. Mm. When I'm busy. Parties. No. You at work teaching? Uh -uh. No. Mm -mm. You need to find out about those Ooh. things. Mm -hmm. Another thing, guys, your responsibilities must be clear on the contract. Yes. What you need to do, mm -hmm. right? Your role. Your role as a teacher, because you have, you you find that maybe being a homeroom teacher, you have to help with this and that and that, and mm. you like you end up. One thing about Chinese people, once you agree, you you help teachers with e morning exercise. They will expect you to do it each and every mm. day. Yeah, but yeah. So be wary of how you offer help. Yes, yes. Be very careful. Don't be too helpful because they will over work you. Exactly. So be um, conscious of how you help. I'm not saying don't help at all. Obviously, yeah. you want to be a, a good colleague with mm, mm, mm. But don't don't Sounds overdo it. Yes, let's susus over work out do not tell them Yes, yes. That's so true. know your role. Mm -hmm. As a teacher, know where you stand. Know, know when to say no. Mm. Very right? important. Talk. Yes. Very important. Also, another thing that I wanted to add onto that: mm. when you get your contract, make sure that they give you a contract and a work handbook, mm. because you find that in the contract it will tell you, tell me your responsibilities, your roles. And things like that mm -hmm. and then in in the handbook it says something different yeah but the contract as in using are not clear mm -hmm. it says refer to handbook mm -hmm. yeah but so make sure that before you sign you say I want to see the handbook too because it also um, I know that there's this other friend of mine mm -hmm. with Idris called to show me mm -hmm. he was not aware that 
he can color his hair here to a formal but mm -hmm. in the handbook it mm. yeah, but and some schools only give you the handbook after you sign the contract yes which is like which it doesn't make sense very, yeah it's it's quite unprofessional yeah so make sure that you get the handbook with your contract mm -hmm. true i don't know how to eat these things in there so i mean they're so sweet you just click them like this ne? Mm. and then because they're so small you just bite them and suck yeah. The way I'm digging in, Sana, and then I touch up the whole drinks. Okay. Last but not least, let's discuss fines and visa. So important. Yes. So important. Okay, so let's say you're not happy with this. We've already signed, and somewhere along the line, you feel like, mm -mm, this road is too bumpy. This ain't for me. I was not cut out for this. You want to resign can you, what do you do what does your contract say about resignation mm. um the fine that you have to pay notice or whatever the case because some schools they don't allow you to leave they will hold on to your document to, to your document and you won't be able to go work elsewhere mm -hmm. like i know quite a number of people who are working is going really where they're not happy because mm. the school won't let them go mm. and the contract allows them mm. for them to keep you because mm. there's um in the contract it's not stated that you can like give them two months notice or one mm. month notice then mm. you can resign or whatever the case or pay maybe 20,000 RMBs or your whole salary but for resigning dollars, yes so now for for you to move to another, like they make it difficult for you to move or for you to leave the school mm. say for example you have to pay your whole salary yeah imagine moving is like expensive on its own yes so you have to pay the school pay it's a lot it's a lot also before that guys before now um you being an employee <coughs> of the school mm -hmm. make sure if visa again do they cover it do they pay for your visa mm -hmm. do you know what they did to my colleague mm. i don't uh, this other girl yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> colleague this other girl you know don't do you know what they did to this other girl i know Mm. they made her pay or she wanted to leave the school yeah right she wanted to resign so they made her pay one month salary and the visa work permit costs yes they were like they you wasted that. our money they do that so pay us back the work permit cost and everything for me this is a personal experience when i signed with this other taiwanese school mm -hmm um i did not read the contract properly Ish. right yeah and then it had said that they will take care of my visa costs mm -hmm. when i am transitioning from my previous school to their school yeah? mm -hmm. but if i have to go home for instance but they don't put that in, in like exactly how i'm saying it if i have to um, exit the country because my visa uh, is taking long or whatever, uh -huh. those costs are on me. Oh. Then it happened, Chomokoti, I ran out of days because my previous school, they didn't have fun with my documents. Yeah. And then now I had to do a visa run. Did I not pay that for myself, friend? Mm, 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 mm. Did I not pay that for myself? So guys, make sure that everything is inclusive if yeah. you need to do a visa run that school must pay for that visa run true mm -mm. They, could, they must pay for everything yes because yes because they can and they will mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um to add on what you said to me make sure you know um if you are going to leave the school notice how many months yeah true yeah we've already covered that mm. how many months also guys it's very important now as an employer to respect the contract yes. you know do your work respect your colleagues mm -hmm. be 
like my girl represent South Africa well or represent your country well don't be that girl I'm yes. not gonna do this in the contract it says because they will do that to you yes like every time they'll say it's they not in the contract it's mm. not, don't even now I don't ever mention contracts the word contract between me and my yeah the past two years I've been working in China I've never done that hey yeah and it's been going well yeah so if you go the extra mile and you do your work they will go the extra mile for you too. Exactly. One thing about them, Shane. Mm. What? Did you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Chanu. Yes. Um, in the next video, guys, we will. Okay, if you have any more questions, please post them down below. We will be sure to answer them on the next video. Also, we'll talk about transitioning, moving from one city to another or to another school the processes yeah and, and also if you have any um, experiences for those of you who work in China please share um, those experiences in the comment section if we did not cover any of those yes, things so true. that um, people that want to come can like get more information Facts. Mm, I'm <laughs> that is the end of the video oh, isn't it mm. thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing Thank you to my new subscribers. I don't and know what else also, to say. <laughs> don't forget, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification button. Yes, and guys, you know my regular regulars. Thank you for always being here, guys. I love you guys so much. I wish for the subscribers. What happened? The competition. Imali, yes, Imali, guys. Okay. <laughs> So Senzan, what do we do? Give me a name for, for you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so yeah, give me a name. If you give me a name for the channel, uh, not for the channel, for you guys, my audience. Yeah. Because I need a name, like I've been trying to think about it, but I just cannot come up with anything. So if you give me the name, Daitanda, I'm not going to say how much because I don't want people holding me. It is for you, my, that I don't have. But God, I can make sure that you are subscribed please yes and it's gonna be worth your while yes <laughs> okay uh see you guys next time bye, bye. <laughs> castell no seller to tell me that man is sailing child come on to go yeah yes is that a very dark Please follow my friend on her social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram. Um, on Instagram, Uru. And yes, one Kalani. Exactly, that Banabi is and even on Facebook, I'm going to And yes, one Riri Kalani. For Rihanna, friend. Hello, teacher. I'm the Ben Bizantel. I'm going to present. Oh, okay, um, please also follow me on Instagram at talitakumi21. I'm gonna like write it down below. Follow me on Insta on Facebook, Talita Somila. My name, my name, my full name. Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next video. Hey, bye. I love you.